Alright, so at this point in the series, basically where we're at is we've set up our capture page. We've, uh, you know, connected our affiliate link to this button. We also went over to Namecheap and we purchased a custom domain and connected that to the funnel builder. Now, the next thing that we need, and technically, you know, you could skip this and do it later on. And the only reason I, I bring that up is because it is going to be um, a little bit of extra cost for your business. But what we're going to be doing is setting up our autoresponder and talking about email marketing, right? Because it's important, and I recommend that you guys, you know, set this up as quickly as you can because, you know, how many times do we actually purchase things? like the first time we come across something, the first time you see an ad or, you know, see somebody talking about a business um, that you actually purchase right away. You know, usually it takes, you know, s seeing something several different times. And that's why email marketing is so important because if somebody clicks our link, right, they put in their name, their email, and they go and watch the, the video on the sales page, and they read through and they learn all about the all-in-one business and learn more about the Home Business Academy, you know, most likely they're not going to purchase that right away. Some people might, the majority of people are not. And so it's important for us as marketers, what we want to do is, you know, when they put that email address in this capture page, we want to start building a list, an email list, and we want to have an autoresponder or an automation setup, meaning that we're going to have emails that go out automatically. You know, we don't have to sit there and manually, um, you know, write these out and then, you know, uh, manually send it to everybody that comes onto our list uh, because of these um, because of these email marketing um, systems and autoresponders guys that they make it super simple to set this stuff up to where you know somebody comes onto your list and then they start getting emails from you and what you're going to do is send these emails that you know just bring value you um, you know interject your story and more about you and the ultimate goal is to build the know like and trust with your leads and then you know, also give them more information and let them know why, you know, whatever product you're promoting, why it's valuable, why it's going to solve whatever problem that they have. And so if you have the know, like, and trust and the product makes sense and offers a solution for them, then, you know, it's going to be a no brainer for them to purchase from you at some point down the road. So that being said, that's what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys um, you know, basically the process for setting that up. So a couple things that we need, the first thing being that we need a professional email. So, you know, when it comes to email marketing and sending out these autoresponder messages, um, you're not going to be able to use like a at Gmail or at Hotmail. Um, just normal typical email right you need what's considered a professional business email so you know if you guys went to Namecheap and you bought a custom domain what you guys can do is simply purchase uh, the professional email package with your domain and you can see the price right here you would just need you know this uh, this starter package um a dollar 24 per month basically is all you're paying so super cheap and basically what that means is let's say for example for me all right uh my domain for hba is digitalescapeplan.com and so my professional email i would set that up you could have um, info at digitalescapeplan.com. I could have uh, Kyle at digitalescapeplan.com. So that's that's what a professional email is. 
And then from there, we need an autoresponder. So basically there's gonna be two options for autoresponders that I personally recommend. Um, one that I use currently and one that I've used in the past, but they're both great and I highly recommend either one of them. So I currently use Active Campaign and these are the prices right here, but um, these are the per month price if you pay for the whole year. Okay, so with, you know, you would only need the light starting out. I'm still on the light plan actually. And I think it's uh, like $10 more. So $39 if you pay per month. But that's everything that you need. The other option, if you're on more of a tight budget, um, for sure, um, I'd say probably would be Get Response. So you can see they actually have this uh, free plan right here, up to 500 contacts. So if you're starting out brand new, obviously you're starting at zero. And so it could it could be uh, it'll be a good while before you have 500 contacts. So this is free, and you know right here, um, this is perfect, right? Just starting out, get your business online with the free plan um, that includes email marketing and up to 500 contacts. So perfect for what you need. You can do that. So I will have links below in the description for um, either one of these software as well, whichever one you want to go with, whatever fits your budget. They're honestly going to be pretty similar um, when it comes to setting everything up. Um, you know, it's you'll see it's pretty straightforward, and I'll be showing you guys with Active Campaign. But do keep in mind as well that um, HBA focuses actually more on uh, get response as far as some of the setup training that they have so you know if there's something that you want to see you can find the training in the HBA back office there's walkthroughs of setting up an autoresponder where they actually use get response so just something to keep in mind since I will be showing active campaign but what you want to do is, you know, whatever you pick, you want to sign up, create an account, and get started. Also, um, if you do go with Active Campaign, there is a trial as well, a free trial. Uh, I believe for, for two weeks, 14 days, I think is what they offer. So you can take advantage of that as well. But the first step in this whole process is basically going to be to actually connect the autoresponder with the HBA Funnel Builder. So if we come over to the Funnel Builder, you're going to go to the gear icon right here where it says Funnel Settings. And then we're going to go to Applications. And right here you can see I've already got mine um, set up. So it says Active Campaign. But what you'll want to do is go to Add Application and then you're going to select whatever it is you're using. So if you use get response, you'll do that. And I'm going to use that to show you. So you'll hit connect and you'll get this pop up where it's going to ask for your get response API. Now I'm going to show you an active campaign um, where to find that. But it's going to be something similar in get response all right somewhere in the the settings so in active campaign i come down here to settings and then where you see these little arrows popping up and it says show navigation we want to click that and then we want to select developer and then you'll see this um, api access and what we want is the API key. So right here, you see it says key, and then you should have um, some big long code right here. All you gotta do is click copy API key, and then come back over to the funnel builder, and you'll paste that in, and select save and verify. And then that's it. Your, your autoresponder should be connected to the funnel builder. All right. 
So I'm going to cut it here for this video because I don't want these videos to be super long. What we'll do in the following video is actually uh, create a list. We'll connect the list to our landing page and I'll show you guys um, basically how the, the automation works inside Active Campaign, how you can you know build it out and uh, create your emails and how everything kind of works and fits together so um, stay tuned for that thanks for watching um, if you have questions up to this point or about anything at all um, drop them in the comments um, or you can text me connect with me on facebook whatever works best for you see you guys on the next video